Now, there are other loads involved in a helical pile, and one of them is the lateral load. And I hear often that a helical pile has no lateral load capacity. Lateral load is the force on the side, trying to push the pile over. Now, if we imagine our 2 and 7 eighths pile, it's a quarter, inch, uh, a quarter inch wall, 60 KSI steel. The pile is very, very, very strong. If we have this pile installed in some firm soil, for instance, in, um, in some gravel, for instance, our helical pile is very strong and it has enormous uh, lateral uh, capability. You cannot push it over. If we have the exact same pile installed in some beach sand, for instance, the pile can be pushed over relatively easily. Again, it has nothing to do with the helical pile. It's all about the soil the pile is installed in. A very good example of this is in this bucket, I have some very, very firm soil. As you can see, as I push it over, it actually moves the bucket. The pile does not move. In this bucket, I have some beach sand, and as you can see, the pile moves very easily. It's the identical pile. It has nothing to do with the pile. It's all what the pile is installed in. Now, we have a few ways to combat that. One of them is by design of helical piles, we could install a larger pile. When I say a larger pile, I'm always talking about the outside diameter of the actual tube, the actual tube of the pile. So if I say we have a 2 and 7 eighths pile, our outside diameter of our, of our pile is 2 inches and 7, 2 and 7 eighths inches. I'm not talking about the actual size of the helix. We'll get to that shortly. So one of the ways to combat um, lateral uh, strength or lateral limits in weak soil is we go to a larger pile. So in this case, if we went to, for instance, a four and a half inch pile, we have a lot more contact on the soil itself. It's much harder to push over. A really good example, if you can envision it, is if you have a piece of styrofoam and you have a knife, you can slice through the styrofoam very easily. If you try that with a pen, it goes very, very hard because there's a lot more friction from the pen. It's the same thing. It's very easy to, to visualize what's happening. It's the same thing. We go to a larger tube. 